Hi everyone, welcome to Dentist and today we are going to talk about alveolar bone. Alveolar bone is that supporting structure of the tooth which forms the socket of the tooth. That is the place where the roots of the teeth lie. So it is the bone which is actually a part of bigger bone like in case of mandibular teeth this alveolar bone is part of mandible and in case of maxillary teeth it is part of maxilla so to understand alveolar bone first we need to understand what are the different types of bone and how it appears under microscope and that is the topic for today's video so let's start before starting quickly subscribe to dentozen and also give a like to this video as i keep making such interesting and informative videos for you so first we'll understand what is bone what is what are its functions what is it made up of how is it classified how it appears under microscope that is its histology and finally what is alveolar bone so in this video first we are going to talk about first four sections so so that you can understand alveolar bone in a better way in the next video so don't forget to watch that video as well so what is bone bone is a living tissue it makes the body skeleton it is one of the hardest structures so not only it provides toughness but also it provides elasticity so what are its functions without bone there can be no support and shape to our body it also provides protection to the organs of the body it helps in the movement as it provides attachment for the muscles and tendons it acts as reservoir of minerals that is storage of minerals whenever we need more minerals we can take from the bone it also acts as site of blood cell formation and their storage so blood cells are formed and stored there so many functions of bone what is it made up of there are cells inside the bone which we'll discuss later but first in between these cells there is bulk of organic matrix which is the main tissue so this organic matrix gets cal calcified so there is organic component that is 33 percent as well as inorganic material which is 67 percent organic matrix when it is not mineralized it is called osteoid and that is your viva question what is osteoid uncalcified matrix of bone 95 percent it is made up of collagen type 1 and less than 5 percent is type 5 collagen 10 percent of it is ground substance which is glycosamine glycans and bone proteins like bone siloprotein osteonectin osteocalcin bone morphogenic proteins and growth factors what about inorganic like other mineralized tissues it is made up of hydroxyapatite crystals which are thin plate like or leaf like crystals and there are small amounts of other ions which are also present in the bone now what how it is classified first based on shape do you think all the bones have same shape no long bones are those which are more in length compared to their width like the tibia femur humerus then there are short bones which appear cuboidal in shape their length and width are almost same like wrist bone then there are flat bones which are thin flat bones like parietal frontal temporal sternum scapula and pelvis then there are irregular bones which have complex shapes like vertebrae ethmoid sphenoid and mandible it is also a complex bone irregular bone then we have schizomoid bone which forms inside the tendons so example patella or or kneecap so those are the types of bone based on shape now based on formation development bone form is a mesodermal structure it forms from mesenchymal cells so when these mesenchymal cells they form a membrane and within that membrane bone forms directly then it is called intramembranous intra means inside the membrane and sometimes first there is formation of cartilage and within that cartilage then the bone forms so that type of bone formation is called endochondral endo means inside chondral means cartilage now there are some bones in which both type of formation can happen mandible is one one of them that can be your interest question what type of development happens in mandible both intramembranous and endochondral the third classification is based on the microscopic structure how it appears under microscope it can be woven bone that is first formed bone primary bone which is immature bone but when it gets arranged in layers it is called lamellar bone or secondary bone or mature bone so primary bone is first formed it is it has irregular collagen type 1 collagen fibers and when they get arranged it is called mature bone let's see more differences with the help of diagram so in immature bone collagen fibers as you can see here these pink fibers they are randomly arranged they are intertwined in many directions whereas in mature bone or lamellar bone they are arranged in layers lamellar means layers so there is orderly arrangement now within the immature or woven bone there is more interfibrillar space that is in between the five fibrils more spaces there whereas it is less in lamellar bone higher protein content is seen in woven bone that's why it takes a blue color remember that hematoxophilic or basophilic in the under hg sections whereas lamellar bone it appears acidophilic or eosinophilic or pink under the HNE staining. Now, woven bone is first formed, so it is rapidly formed, so there is faster deposition and mineralization, whereas it is slower in lamellar bone. Woven bone thus has more osteocytes. These cells, as you can see here, more osteocytes are there in the woven bone compared to the lamellar bone. In woven bone, higher water and low mineral density opposite to lamellar bone. Now, this woven bone can be remodeled by osteoclast cells. These osteoclast cell bone resorbing cells, they keep on remodeling, they keep on forming the shape of this bone by resorbing this bone 
there as partial remodeling can happen in the lamellar bone in woven bone it is mineralization happens by matrix vesicle whereas in lamellar bone it is mediated by collagen mediated so there are different ways in which mineralization can happen those are called the theories of mineralization which you can understand in the video on theories of mineralization another this type of mature bone now can further be classified into two types yes compact bone and cancellous bone let's see what is the difference compact bone is also known as cortical bone in this lamellar type of bone layer bone there is there is compact deposition of the there is particular arrangement which is called ostians or haversian systems which you are going to see further whereas in spongy bone or cancellous bone which is also known as spongy bone because it is like a sponge here you can see these bony trabeculae but in, in between these bony trabeculae there are spaces like a sponge so it is also called spongy bone and these trabeculae are there because of which it is also called trabecular bone so it gives honeycomb appearance like a honeycomb and there are slender thin bony spicules which are called bony trabeculae now let's see the histology of these two types of bone how it appears so compact bone forms the outer covering of the long bones as we can see here so it is the outer layer is formed by the compact bone and inside of it is the central cavity is called the medullary cavity or marrow cavity in this cavity we can see spongy bone that is interconnected trabecular bone as you can see here so we have compact bone on outside and spongy bone inside the medullary cavity now there is another outer layer of the bone which is called periosteum outermost layer peri means around and similarly there is another layer on the inside of this compact bone which is called endosteum now this layer also surrounds this bony trabeculae so we have seen that in long bones the central shaft of the bone is called diaphysis epiphysis is the outer parts of the bone then metaphysis in between these two and then we have articular cartilage then we have periosteum medullary cavity which have trabeculae and endosteum so structure of short bones short bones also have both types spongy and compact bones but they are arranged like a sandwich that means spongy bone is present in the center and it is sandwiched between two layers of compact bone now let's see how this compact bone and spongy bone appears under the microscope so first let's see this outer compact bone and then we'll see this central spongy bone so first compact bone it further has many arrangements like three lamellar arrangements haversian system is there which is also called osteon circumferential system and interstitial system so let's first understand what is haversian system in this the bone is arranged in layers the osteocyte cells these black cells are present in at the junction of these layers they are lying in a cavity which is called lacuna and their projections are lying in another space is these thin black lines that you can see are called canaliculi which are connecting to the central canal which is called haversian canal so we have osteocyte they are canaliculi their lacuna and the outside boundary of the system is formed by a line which is called reversal line so what is this reversal line this is the line where the osteoclast cell has resorbed and it has stopped the resorption so because osteoclast has irregular boundary so this line is also irregular line and it appears hematoxyphilic or basophilic under the HE section that is very important by our question what is its color so it takes a blue color and irregular line but it should be distinguished from another blue line which is seen on HE stain section which is called resting line resting line is regular reversal is irregular resting is regular and rest Resting line is formed actually during bone formation when the osteoblast cell take rest. So th these two are different. Those though they appear blue under the sections but two are different so you should know the difference and that is your viva question so we can say that these osteocyte cells that is bone cells within the bone they are lying in the space their space is called lacuna where their body is present and where their processes are present those spaces are called canaliculi so these small canaliculi as you can see here these radiate from osteocytes towards the central haversian canal or vascular canal in which vessels are there so these canaliculi helps in interconnecting all these cells and help in transfer of the nutrients and waste material so this type of arrangement is called concentric lamellae concentric lamellae where the layers are arranged around the central haversian canal so this haversian canal plus concentric lamellae is together called one osteon osteon or haversian system so this is the haversian system and this is the basic metabolic unit of bone that is your entrance question that is basic unit of bone basic metabolic unit of bone is called osteon or haversian system made up of haversian canal and concentric lamellae now within this compact bone as we have seen that is the outer layer of the bones there are many such concentric lamellae which are arranged let's see how it is arranged so there are many concentric lamellae so in this compact bone 
वन टू थ्री सो इन बिटवीन दीज कंसेंट्रिक लैमले यू कैन सी अनदर टाइप ऑफ लैमले हेयर विच आर कॉल्ड इंटरस्टिशियल लैमले इंटर मीन्स इन बिटवीन दीज कंसेंट्रिक लैमले सो दे आर द रेमनेंट्स ऑफ द ऑस्टियोन्स विच हैव बीन रिजॉर्व विच हैव बीन रिमॉडल्ड बाय द ऑस्टियो क्लास सेल सो उनके जो रेमनेंट्स बच गए दो ज्यादा इंटरस्टिशियल लैमले and surrounding the entire circumference of this bone that is circumferential lamellae are there as you can see so these are parallelly arranged lamellae so one which is on the outside are called outer circumferential lamellae and one which is on the inside of this medullary cavity they are called inner circumferential lamellae as you can see here so we have seen concentric lamellae we have seen interstitial lamellae and outer circumferential and inner circumferential lamellae so those are the lamellae now these haversian canals they are connected to each other through another type of canals which are called walkman canals and that is your viva question what are walkman canals so they are running perpendicular to the haversian canals and they interconnect these haversian canals and they form a vascular network within the bone so outermost layer of this bone now outside this compact bone there is another layer which is called periosteum peri means outside and that can be your viva question now you know further it is made up of two layers its outermost layer is made up of fibers collagen fibers condensed layer and inner layer is made up of osteogenic cells that is there are cells osteoblast cells which form bone and the osteoprogenitor cells which give rise to more osteoblast cells so the precursor cells of osteoblast so periosteum has two layers outer fibrous and inner cellular that can be your viva question similarly on the inside of this medullary cavity there is that is inside of this compact bone there is another layer which is called endosteum which is also made up of cells but it is incomplete cellular layer so it forms the lines the marrow cavity and also it covers the trabeculae of the spongy bone which are inside the medullary cavity so histology we can say that under the hne stain section this compact bone will appear like this concentric lamellae interstitial lamellae circumferential lamellae periosteum and endosteum now so this is the entire structure of the compact bone concentric lamellae interstitial lamellae outer circumferential lamellae inner circumferential lamellae periosteum endosteum haversian canal and walkman canal now we are going to look at the spongy bone that is present inside the medullary cavity so when we cut one of these sections that is when we see one trabeculae we cut it it will appear something like this so within the spongy bone the all the components are same that is cells are there these osteocyte cells are there fibers are there but their arrangement is different so that is they are poorly organized as compared to compact bone so no osteons or no haversian systems are seen but we see trabeculae which are about 50 micrometers thick so on the boundary of these trabeculae we have cells so these the all types of cells osteoblast cells osteoprogenitor cells osteoclast cells that is bone resorbing cells can be seen so under the histology hne stain section it will appear like this so these are the bony trabeculae lined by different types of cells and these bony trabeculae are surrounding these marrow spaces so as you can see these small spaces so they are they provide actually nutrition to these bony trabeculae so they derive their nutrition from marrow spaces so we have seen the histology of both types of bone that is compact bone hair and the trabecular bone so we have seen that within and on the boundary of both types of these bones we have cells so what are the different types of cells so within the bone the cells are called osteocytes as you can see here these osteocytes they remain in their space which is called lacuna and their processes go inside the spaces which are called canaliculi then on the boundary like in periosteum here in the compact bone and endosteum which acts and also in the trabeculae boundary we we can see cells which form bone which are called osteoblast cells so these are osteoblast cells and also there we have osteoprogenitor cells which give rise to these osteoblast cells so these are the precursor cells of osteoblast cells now we also need some cells which can resorb the bone so those are osteoclast cells that is multinucleated cells so these are also seen here in these layers around both the compact bone and in the cancellous or the spongy bone so now we have come to the summary of bone so first what is bone it is living tissue it is hardest structure and it makes the skeleton of the body it has many functions it is the chief supporting tissue of the body what is its composition it is made up of inorganic and organic material then what is the different ways first based on shape then based on the development then based on their microscopic structure it can be woven or immature and lamellar or mature bone mature bone further can be of two types in the histology it can be compact bone or 
spongy bone and spongy bone so uh, compact bone had has all these things inside it concentric lamellae interstitial lamellae circumferential lamellae periosteum endosteum haversian canal and walkman canal and spongy bone is in the form of bony trabeculae with osteocytes and all the cells so these are that is how they appear under the microscope under the histology you can draw these two compact bone and trabecular bone and the cells which are present within bone and outside osteocyte osteoblast osteoprogenitor and osteoclast cells so that is the summary of bone and in the next video we are going to discuss alveolar bone in detail so don't forget to watch that video now let's check what have you learned so basic metabolic unit of bone is called mature bone is also called as classified bone based on development so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling good luck for your exam see you in the next video on alveolar bone soon till then take care bye bye